Do you regard black magic as being purely fictitious, or is there some truth in it? Some truth? 100% truth. There is nothing fictitious about black magic, in any way whatever. It is a fact. It is a fact uh, which has existed for several thousand years. I mean, when we talk about black magic, we are talking about Satanism, necromancy, alchemy, witchcraft, the worship of uh, Satan. Right, what's going on, people? I've been getting a lot of questions about this CERN thing, yeah. This CERN business that happened yesterday with their new experiment, so... I'm just going to run through this really quick and explain why they did it yesterday. I'm not going to go into the ins and outs of CERN because I've already done that in two different videos. So we kind of know what they're doing over there at CERN behind closed doors. Today we're talking more so about the date and why they picked this day. If you haven't seen my videos on CERN I, I, or the Black Cube, you need to watch them because there's no point coming to this video and listening because you're going to be mad confused. It's just you're going to be hearing stuff and you're going to be like, that don't make no sense, red to tear. So... Well, watch those videos first and then come back to this video, all right? And that's the Black Cube part one and CERN part two, where the, the tunnel opening one, yeah? So, right, July the 5th, July the 5th, July the 5th. This was yesterday, right? CERN. We know that CERN are doing an experiment on this day, okay? Now, CERN have got a terrible rap. No one believes anything, no, no one believes anything that comes out of any scientist's mouth from CERN. I'm going to be honest with you, read about CERN online, people think they're over there doing all types of wild shit. I mean, I even saw a story this morning talking about, um, yeah, where was I? I even saw a story this morning uh, talking about how fans of Stranger Things think that CERN's opening portals to hell. I mean, people have been saying that way before Stranger Things popped off, so... I don't know why they're linking strange. Well, I do know why they're linking Stranger Things and CERN, and a lot of you should know why as well if you've seen all my videos. But I'm going to get into that whole Stranger Things shit at a different time with somebody that was actually part of the Montauk project, and that will be coming very soon. If you guys catch my community post, I've told you to go and listen to Penny Bradley. All right, she is a secret space program survivor, and she has recalled many 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 of many of her authors so go and check her out because she's going to be on the channel soon anyway because montauk ties into cern all right but i'm not going to go into montauk here because it's just going to be too long time travel opening portals interdimensional travel yes it's, that's that's what i'm talking about all right right the 5th of july 5th of july 5th of july write that date shorthand what do we get we get five slash seven or seven slash five it's the fifth for the seventh for the seventh for the fifth you know, if you've been here on my channel for even, you know, one video, you know that we flip these numbers into dates and these these dates into numbers, vice versa. So 5th of the 7th or 7th of the 5th is 57 and 75. Simple. Nothing confusing about that, all right? Then we go and look at the values of these numbers and we see what we find. Okay. Right. Number one. NWO equals 75, a.k.a. New World Order. I mean, that one is pretty self-explanatory and I don't have to go into that at all. Now, how did the NWO operate? How did the New World Order operate? In all them videos that I'm sure we all used to watch on YouTube about the Trilateral Commission and the Rothschilds and all that surface level information that dragged us all into this, uh, this fucking rabbit hole. It always says they operated how? Problem, reaction, solution, yes, the Hegelian dialect, but order out of chaos. That is their that is their baseline motive. That is that is their modus operandi, if you should say so. Order out of chaos sums to 75, just like NWO. Makes perfect sense, right? And these entities, I will just say, humans and non-humans behind closed doors the hidden hand that is controlling this reality they like to play god right yeah they definitely like to play god so yeah i find it no surprise that let there be light sums to 75 as well nwo order out of chaos let there be light and just think about that for a second especially when we're talking about cern light particles life portals space travel biblical narrative think archons yeah my last video on genesis 
electricity equals 75 and electric equals 57. I'm gonna be keep looking this way by the way because I've got notes over here, like there's no way I can remember all of this off the top of my head. There's too many numbers in my brain. My shit is like a filing cabinet that won't close, like for real. So I need to keep looking over here. So forgive me for that. Yeah, electricity 75, electric 57 and electric gods 57. I made this video, I made I made that video, the last one where I had my theory about the electric gods uh, and, and the pyramid, that was in my last video about uh, how language creates reality. Now CERN are doing this experiment on the 57 date when electricity equals 75, electric equals 57 and electric gods equals 57. I think I might be onto something to be honest with you because I didn't know they were doing this back when I made that video. Bearing in mind I do a lot of this research in, in strange orders because it's all so eclectic some some of my notes are from literally three years back and i'll drag it up and use it in the video so i had no idea that they were doing that i've had this theory about electric gods for a while so that being said birth equals 57 what is being born at cern i don't know i ain't got a fucking clue but i don't think it's anything positive let there be light and birth all connected yeah all connected it's all to do with insemination it's all to do with inception it's all to do with creation now at CERN we know they literally are doing experiments that open spaces between dimensions and what part of us is responsible for interdimensional travel yeah the pineal which of course sums to 57 as well just like experiments And did you know they can recreate a whole clone just from a pineal gland? They don't need any part of your body. As long as that pineal is still connected and they can take fragments of that, all your soul memory is stored in your pineal. So they'd be regenerating bodies straight off pineal glands. So the pineal gland's important, but there was a lot of misinformation about there about it. Okay, now the only non-European non member of CERN is Israel. Surprise, surprise, yeah? Well, Jews equals 57, Zionist Jews equals 57, and God of Israel equals 57. So this inside job, 57. I'm just going to leave that there. I'm not saying nothing else on that. You lot can take from that what you will. Now, like I said earlier, a lot of mainstream news outlets over the past few days have been linking stranger things and portals to hell to CERN and that does make a lot of sense given what we know about CERN okay and heaven and hell sums to 57 opening portals to hell heaven and hell sums to 57 satanism sums to 57 yeah not only that but CERN the logo for CERN we know is three sixes yeah triple sixes sums to 57 and triple six sums to 57 not only that, but United Nations also sums to 57, okay? And have you guys seen the shape of their new building by any chance? I might put it in an old video. I might not have. I don't know. I forget half the shit I'll be putting in these videos. To be, honestly, I make so many of them. This is what their new building looks like. That looks eerily similar to CERN's logo. Eerily similar to the 666. And United Nations also sums to 57, like triple sixes, like the logo of CERN. Again, clear connections and parallels between all of them. Clearly, there's something to do with triple sixes and the number 57. But yeah, triple sixes, CERN's logo, UN's new building, all sum to 57, all to do with triple sixes. Coincidence? No, of course it's not a coincidence. <coughs> uh, what's more on this whole portal to hell shit? Uh, if you've seen my other video, like I said, You'll know that CERN is short for Cernanus, which is a old Celtic god, and that means the horned one. The horned one. The fucking horned one. Who is the horned one? How many uh yeah. Come on. You gotta remember people, these these are these are magicians at CERN. Yeah, masquerading as scientists. Okay, for the purpose of for the purpose of mind control, to be honest, over you and over me. And that's not going to happen, but this is what they're doing. They're magicians. They're not scientists. 
okay and that's why scientists and mind control both sum to 137 which is the 33rd prime off topic i know but i just had to bring that in there so yeah the portal to hell makes a lot of sense given all the 57s heaven and hell triple sixes magicians black cube of saturn black cube conspiracy and father time which is an epithet for saturn which is to do with a black cube all sum to 57 now this is painting a really clear picture here and i find it highly highly ironic that this whole sun event is happening the day after the 4th of july the 47 day considering when you write out the 4th of july as a word it sums to 57 so the following day the following shorthand day 57 is the 4th of july written out as a word and this event was happening the day after the 4th of july it's odd it's really odd and i've also told you guys this when you're looking into a number a particular that bird is shouting when you're looking into a particular number a, a really good way to go about it is to go back in history and look what's happened on that day of the year so we're looking at 57 and 75 okay and i'm only going to do the 57th day of the year because you lot can go look at the 75th day and see what's tied to that but the 57th day of the year okay is february the 26th two events happened that I'm going to talk about on this day 57th day of the year first 9-11 in 1993 some of you may know about this some of you may not just google first 9-11 attacks so the first 9-11 was on this day 57th day of the year and also Tim Berners-Lee introduced the first World Wide Web browser on this day and I told you in my last video where was the World Wide Web founded? It was founded at CERN. So they uh, they like this number 57 for some reason. And there's other stuff that happened on the 57th day of the year. But you can go back and find that and have a look at the 75th as well. Because you will be surprised, trust me. Once you know how these guys operate and how they encode their shit, you can just see straight through it. One more thing. This year is also 75 years after Roswell. So there's another 57, 75 for you to do with Roswell, which actually was a site up in and of itself. That was no, that was a, a CIA ship, Roswell. But we'll talk about that at a different time. So that is why they picked this 5775 date, okay? Because of all of what I just said, there, there is, and there's more, but I don't need to beat a dead horse because I think I've proved what I need to say here.